Hello, my name is Carrie Pillay and I'm going to be talking about um, This Is Your Brain. The first part of this is going to be addressing um, how our nervous system works uh, and what it, what it does for us. When we look at our nervous system, I've divided this into three parts. It makes it easier for, for us to understand in general ways so we kind of get a feel for what goes on in our bodies. Um, in terms of being in medicine, which is, which is what I tend to do, um, this is a, an interesting topic for me because it, it, it's about how the body works normally and how the things that we're not even aware of um, occur in our bodies and we don't have to think about them. So when we look at the nervous system, I'm gonna, I'm gonna divide things into three sections. It makes it easier to understand and connect things to for you. And so when we talk about a nervous system, I'm gonna talk about your brain, and I'm gonna talk about your spinal cord, and then we're gonna talk about nerves, which another word for that is neurons. So in talking about a nervous system, I wanna look at how things kind of work, and there again, I'm gonna divide it into two parts. There's a central nervous system, and there's a peripheral nervous system. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the central nervous system first. Central nervous system kind of is just what it implies. It's the central piece, and in my mind, it does the, it does the majority of the work in terms of how our body functions and how things work. The central nervous system is made up of the brain and your spinal cord. That's it, brain and spinal cord. That's the central nervous system. Um, as a part of being a central nervous system, our body is, is very protective. And so central nervous system means that it has some protection around it. When we start thinking about security, our body has set up a security system around its central nervous system. So not everything that we put into our body is able to affect our central nervous system. For example, you know, let's suppose that you um, have some heartburn and you take some Mylanta or you take a Tums for your heartburn. Well, that Tums is able to affect what goes on in your stomach, but it doesn't affect what goes on in your central nervous system because it doesn't get through the security system. When we talk about things like alcohol, well, alcohol does affect your central nervous system. You, you get that buzz feeling. It does affect your central nervous system because it has a key to get in past the security system that is around the, the brain and the spinal cord. So it actually can affect how the mind thinks and, the, and how the chemicals in the brain are working. All of the drugs that we get high from have keys to get into that central nervous system, okay? Um, central nervous system, brain, spinal cord, has a security system around it. It gets its input from outside the central nervous system. That peripheral nervous system over here feeds into the central nervous system, okay? The, I guess the job description of the central nervous system is one way you could look at it. The central nervous system is supposed to regulate the body. So its job is to make decisions about what needs to happen and then tell the other parts of the body what to do. So it has to have input from the other parts of the body, the peripheral nervous system. It is able to interpret the messages and then it gives a response for what the rest of the body should be doing. So for example, when you have something to eat, your stomach sends a signal to your brain. Your brain says, ah, the stomach is full, we need to digest food. And it sends a signal back to the other parts of the digestive tract that make it work and you digest your food. And guess what? You don't have to think about this. Body does it by itself. That's how this, this nervous system that we have works. Um, and that's, the, that's what the central nervous system is supposed to do. It's input in, interprets it, sends messages back to tell the rest of the body what it's supposed to be doing. Central nervous system. When we look at the peripheral nervous system, the peripheral nervous system is kind of just like it sounds to. Peripheral, it's outside the central part. So the peripheral nervous system is made up of all of the nerves and the pressure sensors and all of the other, um, I guess I would call them sensors that are throughout the body that send signals to the central nervous system for data, for interpretation, for letting it know what's going on so that the central nervous system, the brain can make a decision, okay? So the ways that it does that, I think I have three of the kind of sensors or inputs listed here that I'm gonna talk about so you kind of get a feel for what I'm talking about. But you know, we have, 
we have pressure sensors. You know, when you, um, you may be watching this and you know your, sh your shoe's a little tight and you may find yourself wiggling your, your foot in your shoe because you're a little uncomfortable. Most of us don't think about that, but the signal went from your toe or from your foot to your brain. It said, oh, move your foot, sent the signal back down and you're doing it without really even thinking about it. Um, when you know you're in pain, how many of you have ever caught your hand in a door and you know you can feel the pressure, the door's moving too fast, now your hand may be stuck and you're trying to get it out, you have pain. Pain sensors are another thing that gets sent to the brain and the, and the brain is now telling you what to do. Take your other hand and open the door and take your, take your hand that's caught out. We don't consciously think about that step by step because the brain works that fast and has sent the signal down through the nerves and we're already doing it as a part of how fast our system works. Another type of sensor that's out there is a, is a temperature sensor. Now this one's kind of fun because think about this. You know, we all can, we all can feel heat. And so I may, maybe I use the stove or you use the stove and I come along and as I'm moving through it, if I'm moving slow enough, I can tell that it's hot before I actually touch it and burn myself. Because we have these temperature sensors that tell us, ooh, that's hot, be careful. If we touch it too fast, we jerk the hand away because we now have the signal sent, ouch, very hot, and the brain says, get your hand off that, and we move it. And that's how the body is designed to work. We have the peripheral nervous system that has inputs, sends messages to the spinal cord, up to the brain about what's going on. The brain, the central nervous system, interprets these messages that it gets, and then it sends back down to the peripheral nervous system what it should do about it, and it works lightning fast. We don't even think about a lot of the stuff that goes on uh, as a part of our daily routines because our system is working that well. Um, so there you have central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, three parts of the brain, brain spinal cord make up the central nervous system and the nerves make up the peripheral nervous system. I hope you find this helpful. Again, my name is Carrie Pillay. Thanks for watching.